Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to talk about my new fountain pen, which is from the Penlux. For those who don't know, Penlux is a brand from Taiwan. Even I didn't know the brand existed, although I'm a big fan of fountain pen. Let's straight dig in. Okay, um, actually I went to the fountain pen shop uh, here in Malaysia. It's called Pen Gallery. My intention was to buy a Kaweco ink, a fountain ink pen, but when I was trying out those pens, I realized that the Kaweco for me was a bit rough and I wasn't, I'm not like a big fan of um, the way the nib writes. So I decided to check on other pens and that's how the owner actually recommended uh, this particular brand. Um, this is a limited edition fountain pen. So this is a fountain pen that is called Masterpiece Grant Grande Cloudy Bay. This is a limited edition and as it says made in Taiwan and they only made about 388 pens and mine is the 129. So let's open it. Okay, um, I've already opened it and I've already tested it and I am putting it back inside this box actually to, you know, protect them. So this is the pen. It says here, Pen Lux Grande Cloudy Bay, and the number is also stated in here, 129 over 388 pens. So it has a gold trim on it, which I really love. You need to twist to open it. And this is the nib. It's a gold nib as well, but of course it's not the real gold. And this is the um, fine nib, and I just love this pen because the, the barrel is like really, really thick and it's so easy for me to write them. So the way I fill up this um, pen is, of course, I need to twist this and then um, to fill it up. Uh, the ink barrel is actually bigger than um, the regular pens and it can really accommodate um, ink, quite a bit of ink and I can use it for a very, very long time. So I'm a big fan of fountain ink, but I find it difficult to find a proper ink to, for my Hobonichi cousins because I'm pretty sure everyone knows that using a fountain pen is a, is a problem because it tends to smudge. By the time you finish writing, you realize that your entire hand has like all sorts of ink marks and when you look at the book, it will all be smudged. I'm pretty sure this is a universal problem for every fountain pen user, but I have found a solution which is the Private Reserve Ink. I'm telling you, this thing has a very, very fast drying time. So. I have solved that problem. So right now, I am able to use this fountain pen on my Hobonichi cousin. So let me show you how the I'm able to use the fountain pen without even having any sort of smudges. There you go. I have been using the pen with this ink, Private Reserve ink. It is really, really awesome. Can you see there are no smudge marks because of this private reserve ink, which is simply awesome. And the drying time is just so, so fast. If you're looking for a pen that has a fast drying uh, time, then you simply go ahead and choose the private reserve ink. This is the avocado, by the way, it's a beautiful green. Um, I just love it. I may be expanding my ink collection on this particular uh, ink brand. Okay, back to my pen. I can actually compare with the other pens. So I have like a whole collection of fountain pen. Well, not as much as other people have actually. So most of my pens are from Lamy. And uh, one of this is a gift. So that's why I ended up having two colors. And uh, this is my Twispy uh, Diamond 580. I love this as well. And this is my Twisby, um, it's a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's Twisby Eco Taiwan. And I'm also having the Pereira, Pilot Pereira in fine. And um, these are all Pilot pen as well. And this is my another favorite pen. This is the this is the Pelican M200, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and this is in the medium nib, and I just love the way this writes as well. So comparing all this pen side by side, as you can see. So this is by far 
the fattest pen of all, right? And this is short. I kind of, although I love this uh, fountain pen, but because it's short, it's very difficult for me to, you know, really grasp and write them. What I meant is because it's the barrel is too thin, by the time I finish writing on my uh, journal, my hand tends to hurt because I guess the way I'm holding the pen. Whereas when I'm using this one, I don't have that problem because the barrel is so big. It's kind of heavy as well, but it's a good type of weight to it, you know? I just love the way the weight falls every time I try to write on them. I love writing using this because the way it sits on my hand and the weight to it, it kind of controls uh, able to control my writing style if you if you understand so I'm really really loving this so in overall I would say that I love this the most and combining it with the private reserve ink this is really good so let me show you how it is uh, when I write I just love the way it writes because it's so smooth. So this is like, you know, uh, cursive writing, but if you want to write in a normal uh, writing, let's try. There you go. But I'm holding in a slumped way, right? So if someone who's like, tend to hold it really straight. This is pretty good as well. But I find it like a bit on the rough side. Not a big fan of writing this way. I think I prefer writing them this way. The way it flows it's somehow much better pretty right There you go. It writes beautifully and I am just simply in love with this thing. Okay, so maybe I want to highlight some of this, okay? Can you see? It doesn't smudge at all because it really has dried up, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another one. This is my Hobonichi 5-year journal which I have written the nudeless black ink actually okay let me show you how this is when I actually highlight on top of them so as you can see it doesn't smudge as much but it does smudge and I have written this like almost one and a half months ago and it still smudges so you can actually see how bad the noodles ink is so this happens to almost all my ink, fountain ink. So that's a problem that I have. And I realized that I don't have that problem in this, um, the private reserve ink. So if you want to buy, do get this. It's really, really worth buying this ink. So what I have done is I have tried writing 
on the um, Stilogy A5 and I noticed that this ink does shadow a bit and when I write using the fountain pen and this uh, the ink tend to you know it, 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 it sort of like expands so I'm not sure whether it's because of the pen or because of the ink so the ink maybe because the drying period is really fast so that's why the ink gets absorbed into the um, paper um, whereas when I actually uh, tried using this pe uh, pen uh, with the noodle ink I don't seem to have that problem as much so this was my writing and at the back as you can see it doesn't ghost as bad as the private reserve ink which I have I mean pretty obvious ghosting but it's okay when I write on top of them I don't really see as much it's okay but it's just that I feel like the ink absorbs and it expands the writing a bit where else this doesn't and it really really looks kind of beautiful when I'm actually writing using this you know so uh, if you have any questions do let me know at the comment box below I will try to answer them don't forget to subscribe if you are into organization and planning type of videos and um, hope to see you again bye